peace, blessings, and love to you and your families, and may Yahweh bless the sense as always. So I have made a promise to you, through the spirit of Yahweh, that everything that the Most High Yahweh puts in my spirit, reveals to me, rather say, I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to share it with you all. This video is going to cause a lot of controversies. This video is going to have a lot of people confused. But the main thing that I want you to understand is that all these things were hidden, right? And since they were hidden, they're being revealed to us now. And our journey, and our spiritual journey, we are bound to make mistakes. Certain people, they may consider my mistakes to be a gross error because of the individual who I am and who I claim to be and so because of that a lot of people discredit me as a being the things that the Most High Yahweh puts in my spirit to bring out here and share it with you and so I have to reveal these things because it is part of his word it's part of what he said was going to be happening in these times and in these days it's the only way that you will understand the true wisdom is the only way that you will be able to understand what is true on righteousness. These things are going to be revealed to you because Yahweh your God promised them to you. He said how he was going to show the people his power, his might. Yahweh said that he was going to do this thing in your lifetime. And I am prolonging this because you are going to have to understand that this video all of these videos is what is going to make you decide whether you're going to believe in this or not you see once you click these videos there is no going back there's no unhearing it there's no unseeing it. It's just a matter of you either believing it or not believing it. Because when we are reading the scriptures, we're not supposed to be looking to see what's in it for us. Yahweh said that if you're truly looking, then you're going to look to understand for the truth of Yahweh. You're going to look to feel what is the truth not to just try to make it sound good to you but to feel the truth coming to pass and so the sincere are the ones who feel these things coming to pass they see it with their eyes they are the ones who are being sealed with the mark of exemption which is the name of Yahweh everybody else they are being judged for not believing. And so that is why it has to be revealed to you because the time has come where judgment will be taking place. And by you, believing or not believing, decides whether you get the mark of exemption or the judgment of Yahweh. Now, the name of this video is going to be called the power of the spirit because we're going to understand what is the power of Yahweh and we're going to understand what is the spirit of Yahweh Jeremiah 16 and 14 however the days are coming declares Yahweh and it will no longer be said as surely as Yahweh lives who brought the Yasharalites up out of Egypt which is bondage but it will be said, as surely as Yahweh lives, who brought the Yasharalites up out of the land of the north, and out of all the countries where he banished them. For I will restore them to the land I gave their ancestors. And that land is a spiritual mindset. And furthermore, before we continue, let's understand this. This land here is basically talking about the mindset the inheritance of the first generation of mankind, who people call Adam. 
You see, you don't understand the full details behind the history of what happened. And this is why I am here through the spirit of Yahweh to let you know these things. Who they call Adam, which we know as mankind, but there was a progenitor of mankind, this first spirit, which was clothed in flesh. This first spirit is the physical spirit of Yahweh. And he also has a celestial part of him, which is the spiritual form of Yahweh, which people would consider it to be invisible. He has created a being who comes in this earth to do what it has to do. This was the first so-called Adam. And I'm going to break it down to you through the spirit of Yahweh. You see, there was an oath that was made with the Most High and His own spirit. One is the messenger spirit and the other is the celestial spirit. And so, Yahweh made an oath with His own spirit, a promise, a deal, that if His physical spirit would sin in the flesh, then the celestial spirit would take the throne, would be known to be. And I'm not trying to confuse anybody, but this is the reason why these videos here are going to be very long, so that you can fully digest it, and so that you may understand the glory, the form, and the image of your God which your God has no physical image. Why? Why he has no physical image? Because of the same reason that I'm going to explain to you now. You see, the watchers knew this same oath. They knew that. This oath was given to who they call Michael. You see that? Which that was the name that was bestowed upon his spirit by men. Okay? So we'll just name it the way that people know it. So Michael was given this oath. This is why Mike was called the long suffering. Because he had to endure this whole time until the very end. But let me not get ahead of myself, you see. So since the watchers knew that this oath was made, they enticed who they call the first man, Adam. They enticed him to sin because this being was made perfect. He was clothed in flesh, not knowing unrighteousness, not knowing wickedness, only knowing pure wisdom, only knowing holiness. But the power of the flesh was too much. You see, darkness overcame that. The curiosity of humans overcame the righteousness that we were born with in that first lifetime, that first generation. And so the Most High Yahweh had to start it all over again. This is why he stripped himself, that physical spirit was stripped this is why mankind had to grow from darkness and into the light you see that the progenitor of the human race himself had to strip himself of everything that was holy so that it can only be brought into existence later which is now which is the reason why all of this is being made for you to know this is the reason why this is a future generation that has come to pass. You see that? All these things, they had to wait to, to come to pass. And that's the reason why the Most High Yahweh, He is doing a new thing now. This is why you read the scripture in Daniel's where it tells you, Thrones were set in place and the Ancient of Days took his seat. That is that celestial spirit. That's why he has no image. That's the reason why the Most High was so against idol worship because of the disgrace that they, the watchers and humans, did to his physical spirit. You see that? So all in a nutshell, what the watchers did was take away the honor that was going to be bestowed upon his physical spirit. You see that? that? That physical spirit was to be here on the earth, to be worshipped and praised by all men. The watchers did not want that. The, wa the watchers did not want to serve men. See that? You see how everything is starting to make sense through the spirit of Yahweh? 
that's why they enticed men. So after they did that, they got what they wanted, right? And so the Most High Yahweh, he stood to his word. And so now his celestial spirit is overseeing his physical spirit. And now this physical spirit is coming. This is why that spirit later becomes the son of man. This is why who they call Michael becomes the ancient of days because those are promotions. You see that? When an angel, a messenger gets promoted or demoted, their name changes with that promotion or demotion. Okay? And so, all in a nutshell, this is why Yahweh has no image. And see that? This is why it's a day of vengeance. You get it? Why is it a day of vengeance? Because Yahweh's physical spirit is going to take vengeance for what they had done to Yahweh. See that? Because it all goes back to Yahweh. They did this to Yahweh. Even though it was his other half that they did it to. But guess what? That's the reason why his celestial spirit, the one who dwells on high, he is over disaster. He is over mercy. You see that? That's the cloud. That is his chariot. That's the reason why it oversees that other spirit who they call Gabriel. Anytime Gabriel appears on the earth, that other spirit who they call Michael is overwatching it. This is why in this time and in these days, that's why the scripture says, Michael shall stand. We have ranted enough. And pretty much this whole first part is going to be about me ranting. Because you have to, you know, understand the things that I'm about to show you. Believe me. As much as I talked in this first part, is as much as I have the scriptures on here to show you. And so let's continue to read this in Jeremiah 16 and 15. But it will be said, as surely as Yahweh lives, who brought the Yasharalites up out of the land of the north and out of all the countries where he had banished them, for I will restore them to the land I gave their ancestors. Again, this is talking about a mindset. Now furthermore, it says here, who brought up the Yasharalites up out of the land of the north. What is that talking about? That's talking about that Babylon mindset. Let's go ahead and show you this here. That's why it says in Isaiah 14 and 12. How have you fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn? You have been cast down to the earth. You who once laid low the nations. Who is this talking about? Well, some people may think it's me. This is why I said this video is going to cause a lot of controversies, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for all that. I am ready for the betrayal. I'm ready for everything because I'm going to stand strong in this. And in the end, at the end of the day, the Most High Yahweh is going to be my witness, okay? And you people that didn't believe are going to be shamefaced. And it's going to be too late because Yahweh said that He is going to, you know, move you away from being near me personally. As much as you may want to be my friend or get to know me, that's not going to happen. It's not. And you could try to fake the funk, but the funk is going to, it's going to reek off of you after a while. For trying to fake it but for so long so i'm ready for it at the end of the day i stand here and i do what i do for yahweh not for humans but i do love my sincere brothers and sisters who have been with me through this spiritual journey throughout these years but at any time any brother or sister ever feel like oh this brother's bugging this is the reason why that you know unsubscribe button is there that's the reason why the you know unfollow unfriend button is there and I won't take any hard feelings at all. I would just know what it is. I would not mention your name in any one of my videos because I'm not like that no more at all. You see, my mind has changed. The things that used to bother me before, they don't bother me no more. I'm only worried about doing the will of the Most High, making sure that His Word gets publicized so that people may understand it. So let's understand this here. This here. As we know, it's talking about Azazel. Moreover, the Roman Catholic people consider this to be Sim Yazza, Samuel, the first Satan. And so let's go ahead and show you, right, that, you know, Samuel represents Rome and the Greeks, you know, the, the, the Roman Greeks, 
the Grecian Roman Empire, which is also this beast here in Daniel 7 and 7. After that, in my vision at night, I looked, and there before me was a fourth beast, terrifying and frightening and very powerful. It had large orange teeth. It crushed and devoured its victims and trampled on the foot whatever was left. It was different from all the former beasts, and it had ten horns. Now, you have to understand, this is what it's talking about, you know? This Grecian Roman Empire, as we always talk about. That's the, you know, Holy Roman Empire and their BS. So, there's a demon behind that, okay? This is why we also say that it is associated with Esau, the hairy garment. Let's show you that, right? I'll leave it for you to read. But it says Jacob, the birth of Esau and Jacob, all right? This is uh, chapter 6 and this here. But we're going to read this here. Just understand this. Please understand it with an open mind. Stop trying to find fault in the things that I bring out. With an open mind. So look what it says. When Rebecca had been pregnant seven months, she began to wish that the curse of childlessness had not been removed from her. Because, you know, when a woman is pregnant, they go through their pains. She suffered torturous pain because her twin sons began their lifelong quarrels in her womb. Mind you, it says lifelong quarrels in her womb. They're not even born yet, but they have lifelong quarrels. We'll get into that. They strove to kill each other. If Rebecca walked in the vicinity of a temple erected to idols, Esau moved in her body, and if she passed a synagogue or a Bet her midrash, Jacob essayed to break forth from her womb. The crows of the children turned upon such differences as these. So we will continue with this in the next part of the video because it's going to show you how these two brothers have their own gods.